Hi there, Martin here from Jazz Beginning Guitar, and here's another great tune to learn. So, let's start with an A chord. A great, fantastic bubblegum pop song coming up from 1969. Okay, to make an A chord, you're going to need your first finger on D2, your second finger on G2, your third finger on B2. Now don't worry if you haven't done this chord before, it's good practice, it's a great chord to start from. Okay, so open A, open E, five strings. Remember that string five. One, two, three, four, five. Of course that's six. Okay, so that's open A and so Scooby Dooby Doo. Now the second chord is I'm gonna go in with um quite a difficult chord to start with. Okay, and I'll show you a, a, a kind of a cheat way. Not cheat way, I can show you a different way, maybe slightly easier way of doing it. Okay, so this is a B minor as a second chord. And it looks like that. Okay, so first finger, E2, second finger on B3, third finger jumps up here to um, a D4, and then pinky underneath G4. Now give this a go, walk this in, take a while, it really will take a while to get used to it. It's worth doing it, that's your B minor. Later on it really can really help you when you do bar chords, you can kind of do that. You twist and go round. Okay, but for now, that is worth having a go at. So, let's have a look what we've got. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? And of course here, you strum four strings. Avoid these top two for now, unless you're going to kind of do that version, which is where you then play the um, the A string on the 2nd fret, or the 5th string on the 2nd fret, and you play, kind of play the middle strings. This is not, this is pre-bar chord, this is, that's quite difficult. You can do that as well, but this is where you're kind of you're aiming for these three strings really. It's almost like a power chord. Okay, so that's a good shape to remember if you want to have a go at that. But for now, we're on this one. Okay, third chord is an E. Now this is six strings. Can I say at this point, I do have a worksheet which is available on the link and it will help you with the shape. So if you had this to play along with, it would really help you. Remember that, yeah? Remember the worksheet. Okay, so open E, open six string. You've got your first finger on G1. You've got your second finger on A2, string five. You've got your third finger on D2, string four, and strings underneath are open. Okay, let's have a look. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? You've got some work to do now. And you go back to A for your fourth chord, really, but you just got to return to the A. A is like your default chord for the whole song. That's why it's a great song for A and B minor, of course. Right, okay, so that is the verse, the structure of the verse that repeats twice, three times actually, and then there's a bridge in the middle. Now the bridge does this. You know we, new chord, goes to a D. If you haven't done your D, this is a four string chord. Now, okay, so open, open D, first finger, G2, second finger goes to E2, third finger, B2. Four strings. You know we got a mystery, a source of scooby to be ready for your act. Goes back to an A for the word act, if you're following the worksheet. And then it bounces back on, goes, don't go back. Sorry about the vocals, I'm not quite in key. I'm focusing on the song. Okay, so once more. You know we got a mystery, the salsa scooby doo be ready for your act. Dun, dun, dun. And then, 
And Scooby Doo, if you come through, you know you're gonna have a Scooby. This time it goes to E. Snack. And you can just do three strums on this to emphasize that kind of um, rhythm in the song. And then you're back into a verse. And that is it. So that is the, the verse chords. Well worth playing along to. You can play along to the song. They look for the 1969 version. Great fun. Um, okay, so just to, before we go on to the melody, strum patterns. So if you are playing along, remember, start off easy. One strum. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? We got some work to do. Now that's going along with the timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And aside from that, you can actually just wherever the song is being accented, that means you know there's a, a drum beat like on the, the the bridge where it goes da da da. You can strum on that. It's quite useful to do to help your timing. If you want to, if you're bored with one strum and you want to pick it up, you can do two strums. So, that kind of works quite well. Okay, and the third one is putting a pattern in, a strum pattern. That's where you, it's kind of driving itself. Now, one of the patterns is down, down, up. Kind of gives you space to change. That comes from the pattern. You can ex extend that, but for for a while, give it a go on the down, down, up. It's absolutely fantastic. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. This is tried and tested. I've worked with a lot of students on this. And it does really help, and it seems to be quite easy. It's almost like three strums. I've tried to avoid them doing the down, down, down. So you get stuck in that and you don't start doing the upstrum, which is quite important and quite difficult to start with. So try it, you'll probably find the pick will fly out and disappear somewhere and you'll never find it again. So get yourself a good set of picks. Oops, shouldn't have shown that. Okay, so um, yes, you can, of course, you don't have to use a pick, you can use your fingers. You can kind of strum invisible picks, quite good. Or flick, or just thumb strum, fantastic. Different ways of um, strumming. Okay, so now if you you want to continue with the down down up and you want to make it more, you can do the down down up up down up, and of course that's much fuller. So up down up down down up up down up down down up up down up. You got some. Right, the melody here, it, you should see the tab on the worksheet if you've got it there. Um, I've done it box by box, not according to time and all musical sheets. Um, so this is quite just user friendly. So it starts on a two on the B. So I'll call it out here as we do it. So two, two, B string, open, open, B string, two on the G string. And you follow the words, it's really useful. Can you see what I'm doing there? Sorry, I hope my finger's in the way. Using my first finger here, and I'll show you why in a minute. O two, jump up to four on D. Do that that last bit again. So it's O, where open B two on a B, jump up to four on a D. All together. Where are you? Stay on the four. We. I'm putting two fingers there, but actually. Where? We. Down to one on G. This is quite a difficult G uh, leap. G leap to make. Um, so watch, watch what you're doing down here. Of course, as well, you're going to be picking here. So you have to kind of get your head in the middle and twist. Um, Two, so one on G, second finger goes to two on D. So all together, where are you? We got 
some. Keep my second finger here. Last part. I'm actually going to bring my first finger in now so I'll get back in position. Work to do now. You can do it any way you want. You can, you can do fast, you know, your fast first finger if you want. So that last part is O oh, back to the B string. You can go back to this all the time. O, oh, B, 2, B, O, oh, B, 2. So all together. The second part is exactly the same apart from one a slight difference. Okay, so this is the second part. Voice goes up, and that is B O two three, and then the rest is the same. Okay, so if you've got the works, you can see that anyway. You can see how it repeats. It's quite, it's a nice pattern to it. Great practice if you're doing rock school or something like that. But do try and memorise it. It really does help you if you're working your melodies out, jumping around, string you know, changing strings or the finger options, crossing strings, they call it, in the exam, on the exam um, syllabus, if you do that. Okay, so now there's another part you can do if you want. This is, would be the extra section. Now, when they go to the bridge, you carry on with the melody. Now, I'm not 100% sure I'm right on this, but have a go. It's the part that goes, you know you gotta, so like this, you know you got a mystery to solve so scrappy dick da 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 Now you can add in extra notes there wherever you see fit. It's that, I've just given you kind of a rough idea of where the notes are. The next part will be So I've kept that bit quite easy. You could put some extra notes in there where it goes. Um, for example, you can go down and up if you want. I'm not really sure, but have a go, try it out. I'm kind of ending there. So this starts on um, G2. Open B, two on a B, and then up, using my second finger here, to go to three on a B. You can kind of go really fast. Follow the words. So, go back to two on a B. Then up to three again. So you're kind of punctuating that, um, or accenting. Punctuating would be your English language, wouldn't it? So accenting. And the last one goes. Um, string which is an E note okay so that is um, all of the parts of Scooby-Doo bubblegum pop fantastic who doesn't like Scooby-Doo right so that is everything um, hope that's helped you until next time happy strumming